We have Jan Nepomniš and we here with us. Uh, the game finished. Jan won uh, this uh, for the first game of the match. Um, but first of all, I wanted to ask uh, Wei about the opening and also this moment when he spent like 53 minutes thinking about Queen D1. What you were calculating at this moment? Uh, Queen B4 was a surprise because I know one game black go D6 then before Bishop D4 and then Queen B4 I spent too much time to calculate some. I think I feel I have something, but I didn't find it. And I go Queen D1 in D6 uh, was also a surprise because I think he will play Queen A5. And then D6 was very interesting. And, uh, and then Knight A4, B5. Yes, he made uh, many moves that I didn't calculate. Yes. There was another critical moment on move 31 when you could just force a draw, but you played knight b5 with just two seconds left. Uh, what you were calculating at this moment? Uh, my f uh, first idea was go queen g5 and make a draw, but the nice on knight b5 and maybe I will have some chance, but I missed rook b5 and then queen takes b2. It's a very strong idea, but I missed this. Then I feel uh, uncomfortable with my position. Yes, and then I think the end game, maybe I can do, but it's very difficult. Yes. Okay, thank you. And Jan, what you were thinking for 50 minutes while, while your opponent was calculating all variations? Well, I wasn't so sure if I remember my preparation correctly, because, okay, this is uh, quite a rare move order. It's queen e4, knight e3, and then white is going for b4. But I'm not so sure, but uh, I had something in my memory, like I have analyzed something like this, and I would say uh, uh, even this structure. I mean, it was familiar to me with bishop f6, gf6, and knight on d4. And, uh, well, uh, I believe they played very well, but then probably he should have taken a draw. And this, uh, I mean, I can understand knight b5, it's very ambitious, but maybe it was a little bit, I would say, careless playing this move with two seconds left on the clock, yeah, because it's still a time trouble. And uh, the bigger problem is that I actually have this rook b5, queen b4, queen b2, and I can, I could hardly calculate if I'm winning already by force or not, but clearly it's only black who is playing on. And then, uh, well, I believe it was, uh, uh, it was few moments there then where I missed some winning continuations in this endgame because, okay, this shouldn't work like with such a weak king on h3 or on h4. But then, uh, actually, when we went to this, uh, let's, let's say, setup with queen and rook on second rank, I thought it may, might end in draw, but then, okay, I saw this idea, like, uh, if I don't, don't have anything else to do, then, okay, I, I, I can try this d4 and queen d5, and, okay, because of the very low time, let's say, yeah, it's knight is, is jumping and a lot of chippos. And actually, queen e5, queen e4, I think, is over because, okay, the next move is knight g4, and uh, uh, this is just uh, looks like black uh, is winning here after this one. But I'm not sure if white is able to hold this with some precise play, but I mean, clearly, it's the time factor was very important. Was it your strategy actually to torture in a way your opponent for some time, trying to get more time at one point or something like that? Because you were not pushing d4 for many, many moves. Well, okay, I was afraid uh, that I'm going to spell something, yeah, because okay, d4 is um, the constant idea. And uh, well, probably then the queen, white queen finally reached d4 square, then okay, I decided, to, let's say, to. Uh, that it's not such a good idea. I mean, what, it wasn't such a good idea to let the queen go to d4, but fortunately then, okay, it's, everyone is tired, and okay, this uh, queen a2, queen b2, this sort of maneuver allows me, I mean, to get back to this uh, des uh, desired position, and well, I mean, of course, uh, I, I would say it wasn't, I mean, the play was very weak, especially if you uh, check it with the computer, but I mean, it's, you know, we are humans, not computers. And okay, I was trying, let's say, to, uh, to make it difficult for my opponent, and at, at, at some point I managed to win. Uh, and just uh, one last question. I mean, what, what do you think that you were lucky in this game, in a way, considering this moment, especially when the, your opponent could take a draw? Well, I mean, it's pretty normal then, okay. Uh, I'm, I would be satisfied with black with a draw because the position is, I can probably, let's say when I played for this, then I went for repetition, I thought, okay, I can play rook f8 and keep the pawn, but I believe it's just too careless because white has super compensation and 
actually I think uh, I think some memories from my preparation uh, let's say advised me not to not to reject the repetition but I mean okay of course it's a uh, uh, very brave decision to play on but I think objectively White had no advantage in this position and it should end in a draw. Okay thank you very much for your great comments and see you tomorrow all the best for the next game.